Hello everybody, Tactiv here, and uh, this is going to be my first video actually. I'm going to be giving you guys a look at a combination lock I made with uh, redstone. And what makes this one a little bit different than most combination locks, because I'm sure there's tons of videos of people making just really simple ones, is this one has four inputs. And in addition, it also has a system where it checks to see if you entered the password correctly. If you did, it lets you through. If you didn't, it locks you in the room where you enter the code and dumps lava on your head until you die. So, uh, yeah, this is, the, this is the lock that I'm circling around right now. It's not too huge. I mean, all things considered, there is a lot of redstone, but it's really not that sprawling. You could probably just do this all underground and have a big chamber where you, uh, keep all the redstone stuff and then just not let anybody see it and then you also would want this room where you enter your stuff to be completely closed off none of this this is just for viewing in my case but you'd want it shut off so that if the person enters the code correctly they die so uh yeah let's take a look at how it works so right here this is the uh the input for it where you enter the code um the first four are the actual inputs for the combination lock the fifth one is the enter button, and the sixth one resets the four inputs back to the beginning state. So uh, let's see what happens when you enter it correctly. So here we go, I'm going to reset it first. Now using the first four, I'm going to enter the correct password. Now I'm going to press enter, and it played a le nice little tone, and the door opened for me. And so now we're going to assume this is my secret base. I know it's just whole bunch of redstone and stuff that's in the way but if you were to make one of these you could easily have the redstone just go up and overhead and you wouldn't have to see any of that this could just be a nice like hallway to your base or a giant foyer or whatever um so yeah out here i also have a button to close the door one to open it back up and uh yeah that that's pretty much what's on this side now let's take a look at what happens if you get the password wrong uh, instead of me standing in there, we're gonna throw, uh, this guy and his friend. Maybe one more. Oh, he's running for the door. And, oh, he went through. Okay, just these two then. So, first I'm gonna reset the password. Yeah, okay, I did that. Now I'm gonna guess that the password is this one, this one, this one. I didn't even use all four, so it's definitely gonna be wrong. And now I'm gonna hit the enter button. And the door locks. And you saw it got brighter because the pistons up here, they pulled back and it is... Now dumping lava on our intruder's heads. So this is what's going to happen to anybody who tries to enter your base without knowing the password. You're going to get lava dumped on their head until they burn to death. Alright, so after a little bit, it shuts off, and then there are pistons underneath this that cause the floor to jump up and then come back down. And this is basically to get rid of lava, because here, I'll show you what happens if that doesn't happen. Um, so... After this, here, throw more villagers in there, so they can die. But, uh, yeah, this was a problem I actually had with my first design. My room was too big, and the lava after it dumps in wouldn't go away, so it's like, well, great, I have the system that kills people, but now there's lava in my, my room, so I can't go through here safely. See, even though the lava shut off, it kind of... There's like the residual effect and it doesn't leave. So I came up with this system right here where, uh, oops, shouldn't have gotten rid of my redstone. Alright, there it is. I have this, uh, you activate this, I activate this, and the flo whole floor goes up. And then when it goes back down, all the lava is gone and your room is nice and ready for the next person to come through and enter the password. So, uh, yeah, that's basically my my redstone combination lock. Yeah, that's what it's called. If you uh, liked it and would like to see more stuff from me, why don't you uh, subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions or whatever. Um, I'm not going to make a tutorial video on this one exactly, but in the future I'm definitely going to start making tutorial videos. So if there's anything you want to see, just uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you want me to do. Alright, thanks for watching guys.